Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the normal distribution. I'm going to explain what it is by looking at an example of a very uh, ideal normal distribution and some of the properties of that normal distribution. And then I'm going to give an example of a real-world normal distribution. Okay, let's get started. This is what a normal distribution looks like just with the normal curve. And uh, this is where, if you look at it, uh, you can tell that it has a bell shape to it. And that's where, why some people call it a bell-shaped curve. Uh, and people use the term bell-shaped curve synonymously with the uh, normal distribution or a normal curve. Now, when people talk about a, a normal distribution, uh, particularly within a standardized score format like Z-scores, uh, the middle, uh, or the mean, or the uh, the median as well in the normal distribution, because they're equal, uh, is often represented with a zero. And so a z-score has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And if you're not really totally clear on z-scores or how to calculate them, uh, I've got a, a video on that that I encourage you to check out. Um, but I'm also going to talk about it here as well. So. Uh, if you go uh, in terms of uh, standard deviations uh, within a normal distribution, uh, in terms of one plus standard deviation or one negative standard deviation uh, above and below the mean of zero, uh, you know for certain with a perfectly normal distribution that there are going to be 34.1% three percent of the observations are going to be between zero, the mean or median, uh, and in the normal distribution case the mean and median are exactly the same. There's, uh, the between zero and negative one you're going to have 34.13 percent of the scores. And conversely between zero and plus one you're also going to have 34.13 percent of the scores. So in total you get 68.26% uh, of all observations within plus or minus one standard deviation away from the mean. So the majority of people, in fact a, a little more than two-thirds of people uh, on a number of uh, criteria uh, like height, like um, uh, intelligence, a number of uh, properties and the behavioral sciences and outside the behavioral sciences uh, most people are between one standard deviation below and above the mean. Uh, in fact, it's a little more than two-thirds. Now, if you keep going further in normal distribution, such as uh, negative two and plus two standard deviations above the mean, you'll find that there's 13.59% of observations uh, between negative one and negative two, or plus one and plus two. Uh, so for a grand total, uh, if you push out from negative uh, 2 all the way to plus 2, you get 95.44% of observations between negative 2 standard deviations and plus 2 standard deviations uh, from the distribution, uh, from, uh, within the uh, normal distribution. And that's where the concept of, uh, or I should say, that's, there's, an, uh, there's something corresponding here, and that's that uh, if you may have heard of 1.96, the value of 1.96 is very commonly used in statistics, uh, in particular uh, for a z-test when you're testing the difference between uh, a sample versus a population. We use a z-test and, and the demarcation criterion uh, for statistical significance is a z-score of 1.96 and that's because 1.96, which is just less, a little bit less than point, uh, w which is just a bit less than two, actually corresponds to exactly to 95 percent of the total uh, normal distribution. So there's actually five percent left over on the two side, on the two tails, for a um, uh, an alpha level test of 0 0.05 and that's where that 1.96 comes from. Uh, we could create a 1.96 here and a negative 1.96 here and that would correspond to 95 percent, that section of the normal distribution. Now finally, uh, the last uh, sections that I'm going to talk about, because obviously the um, distribution is asymptotic, which means that the line just keeps going uh, continuously, uh, infinitely, I should say. In the last section of the you know, the most commonly used standard deviation uh, demarcations in um, 
various disciplines, which is three standard deviations, we have 